Professor Benjamin Okaba has emerged president of the Ijo National Congress worldwide. In an election witnessed by leaders of the Ijo ethnic nationality, the professor of sociology at the Federal University Utweke by Elsa State beat other contenders to lead the social cultural body for the next five years. Joseph Kundi reports. First formed in 1991, the Ijo National Congress is a representative body where members are elected from among the various constituent community-speaking dialects of the Ijo language. The INC meets in Yenagua for its elective convention, but this time they have adopted the electronic voting system with delegates viewing the process on a large screen. We devised this means when we noticed that uh, we've been having problems having elections uh, physically, and we took uh, advantage of technology. So we decided to also ensure that uh, we bring it to the platform of INC, especially to enable people to vote across the world. The results of various positions were announced as it became clear those that have emerged winners. Insecurity is a first charge. We are going to gather our experts. We are going to gather the facts. We are going to plan about it and eat the ground ruling on implementation. We will use our tentacle, collaboration, partnership, and the needed global attention to draw attention of our people to the present insecurity situation, marginalization, and the mainstream democratic process. I am not here with my own agenda. I am here for the Ijo agenda to defend the rights of the Ijo people and to defend the Ijo cause. That is what I will do through the instrumentality of the law. Thereafter, the newly elected executives makes a stop at Government House where Governor Douye Diri lays down a marker. Lives have been lost because of the Ijo struggle. You are aware. Going forward from today, we will work hand in glove. This is the only homogeneous Ijo state. The Ijo interest should be protected across all the states that we find the Ijo's. The Ijo National Congress has finally gotten a new leadership for the first time in as many years. Now it remains for the leadership to be inaugurated on the 15th of May. Joseph Kunde, TVC News, Yanagoa.